head don't yeah. clip. Hey, Jama, can you stop doing work real Come quickly? on, bro. I Yo, we don't stop. I know. It's, Can't stop. It's kind well, of the motto, Do right? something, <laughs> we. Yeah, he's doing <laughs> something, B. So tell us. I've been doing something for 11 days straight. What? I know. You have been going extremely hard, and I want to obviously give you your flowers. But you know who really has been going extremely hard? Me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You sitting here with these uh, gentlemen. Um, we all have been working our asses off. We have. We have. Honestly. We have. You've been sick. Putting I'm, out content. Yeah, I've, 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 I committed to doing specific graphics for this Basquiat and Bops project, and I finished those those graphics. Sick. My brain was in the fog. I'm still coming down, um, but I, I have some of my follicles at least enough to sit down and talk with you, brothers, because obviously let's do something weak. Oh, it's follicles. Follicles. I don't know. Is it follicles? Yeah, follicles. Is it follicles yeah. or uh, what's the uh, brain neurons? Yeah, neurons. Neurons. They fire. Yeah. Y'all yeah, know what neurons is firing. Whatever. Anyways, all those things are happening because obviously we decided that we were going to do everything. Do everything mm -hmm. in one week, and only just to show that it's doable. One, two. Um, when you have a good community around you, it's just a little bit easier. And so mm -hmm. um, we have been creating these communities and you guys have been our um, leaders in that process or at least our face of these processes because I think everybody has a, 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 a load to carry. And I think we try to carry those loads fairly equally. Um, but most importantly, or at least first and, f first and foremost, we did our grand opening for the Kickback Studios. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Why did we do this? Why Why open up another space? I'm throwing all the questions uh, at I'm you at like, once. I'm just thinking, <laughs> because you said we all have a load to carry and we have a team, we had to drop off that load to somebody. Somebody had to. Had to drop a load. Boom. And then so, <laughs> <laughs> it is just so important to have good team a good team and then people knowing what to do and then also people just not getting caught up in their feelings yeah. a, around things and like we have just been uh really blessed to have uh people who are just awesome uh creatives but then also people who can do things like uh help out where where someone may may uh need to be picked up on you know what i mean mm -hmm. I've, I've, i'm losing the, the actual word the follicles. yeah the follicles yeah, yeah. <laughs> pick up the follicles the fog too it's all right we all in a little fog yeah no uh yeah we're we're one one may slack you know the other one picks up and that, it doesn't necessarily mean we're slack and it's just like we're we have so many things to to focus on that it, it's really helpful to have people who are good in different things you know from project managers to DJs to marketing uh, people and uh, designers. The, the designers and um, people who are good operationally, yeah. you know, much like a, a Kiani and a, a, a Dan Lyles and, and people who are, um, I, I think I'm more of the person who is just like, I can see things from a, a, a large creative uh, top level thing and i'm just like here's this idea and let let me get it started yeah. and then everybody is just like it just comes alive yeah. and i think it's it's important to understand that sorry Turn I, where's my phone even mm -hmm. anyways i think it's important to i think it might be my computer actually Close that thing. i think it's important to understand that all of those things have value and to be able to show up in the way in which you show up and um to feel affirmed and in, in your skills and and also being uh very honest about what you can do and what you can't do mm. yeah i think that's super important to me because like especially being creatives like you know we want to do all the things all the time and uh it's really easy to get swept up in like the you know that like that like dopamine hit of just like oh yeah new idea ah! um but you know it's it's like goes you know hand in hand with like also being able to like 
put put the brakes on it and being like all right realistic like how can i be realistic about like what is achievable here um i think it's a superpower that is that that all creatives need to have um because it's like easy for us to catch inspiration um as as david reality said when i was i uh, did i did a, a little like bio for him for his room um he was like inspiration is outside and so like you know and as a creative like you know you can literally step out the door you know or you be sitting in your house really you know and it's like get inspired by something um but i think it's the ability to like reel it back you know it's like oh you know take the little that little hit and then reel it in and say all right now how can i actually implement and so yeah to your point it's super super imperative that like you know uh, uh, especially on creative teams that we have a little bit of everybody uh, that can do a little bit of everything um because it's vital it's vital you know so and and what i meant is one lax not one slacks yes and and I think it's I think when we consider lacking, we're not necessarily talking about like oh let me go take a nap or let me go even though naps are good or let me go uh, you won't see me at this specific event. It's because we're usually working and and managing other things outside of the collective. And so I think when we sat down and we decided we were going to do this together, we realized that yeah like sometimes Deshaun is not you want to get fifty percent of Deshaun on this project. You're gonna need 30% of Jamel on this project, or Fonz, or so on and so forth, and um, we've been able to like not like kill each other in this process, and so yeah, barely sometimes. Yeah, like maybe a spat or two, but yeah. like it's it's really like I think we see the end goal, we see we understand it's a bigger, it's bigger than us, and mm -hmm. I think it's becoming bigger than us, and it brings me to Absolutely. it brings me to Kickback Studios. We, it's, a, it's another space with all the time or the lack of time that we have why was it important to pull this off and what's so unique about the kickback studios um for you guys i mean strategically it was just like um a huge cost benefit number one but then two was like a huge fun factor and i think that's the one thing we've been like really just like pining for because like we've been doing a lot of stuff as you know said the other day in a meeting like we've been doing a lot of stuff to just like survive you know it's like one being young being black and then COVID right we've been doing a lot of stuff just to like pay bills and just to, like be alive you know and luckily you know we've we've built such a foundation of us even prior to the collective that like it made it possible for us to have the opportunity to like take some projects and do some things that allow us to survive but like now to me it's just like th th that whole project is about fun you know like i just really want to be able to have some fun and like you know just shake some of the dust off because we've been like grinding for four years now basically and it's mostly been out of like okay you know first years like us like trying to figure it out and figure it out like what we want to do and how we want to do it and then like the second year was like all right we kind of have an idea Five and years. then Five years, Jesus, 2017, yeah, 2017, yeah. Wow. 2017, it's crazy, um, you know. And then like once we even kind of like started to get our feet underneath us, like COVID hit, and like everything changed. We were like, oh my God, what do we do, you know? Um, and then and then the year after that was just like, okay, now we need to recoup. And so like this year has been all about like how do we like free ourselves back up and get closer aligned to what we want to be doing, which is like having fun, telling stories and creating space for people to you know do the same. So um, that's where it really came in for me, you know. Um, yeah, it was a, just a, just a perfect kind of like strategic like layup for us. Yeah, and, and we talk about a lot about creative ownership and, and ownership for people who look like us and ownership for people who are coming up who we see ourselves in um and work in a way where it's like they don't need to have as many uh bumps in the road that that we have you know we can show them the path a little bit and also we can bring them on to like and that's the reason why we're running it kind of as a co-op model where it's like they can feel like they have some ownership in the way in which this thing right. operates you know and like people have been coming up to us you know young people you know yeah. there, there's like a 18 19 year old who came up to us and was just like yo this is something that has really been missing and like i can't wait to just hang out here and then so like in thinking of it like that now it's like oh how do we better serve this 18 19 year old who needs a creative outlet mm -hmm. 
you know, and needs a, a, a place to feel safe to be able to create and also to be around people like mentors, mm -hmm. you know, and, and people who have, you know, kind of made it or seen their uh, their their definition of success. Mm -hmm. When you say that, you, you made me think of Marika. We had just had her brief like previously to this interview and she was just like, yo, half of this stuff I'm doing is because of things that we learned and the things that I was teaching her when she was in high school and the things that we, you know, kind of reinforced in college. And so, you know, this is kind of that next step where it's like now I want you I want to see what she creates organically without with our support, with our, with some resources, but like go for it, sis. Yeah, you know what I'm away. saying? Yeah. And so like when you say that, that literally is what I'm thinking about. And so I'm only I'm really excited to see this space run whether we're there or not. Mm -hmm. And then when we pop in, it's like, what y'all need? Or, whoa, I didn't even think about it like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and that's what the whole co-op thing is supposed to be about, right? Like, it's, it's like essentially run, being ran and like managed like as if it was like a food co-op, right? Where you just like buy a yearly membership and then you get to participate in like, you know, decision-making things around the space and how, how it's utilized, what's in it, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm super excited to see what, you know, people dream up that we didn't you know foresee or think of i know we kind of like we're just like you know let's let's make it bare bones from the jump and then just like see what it turns into but that that space is really going to turn into whatever the people that use it is going to really want and need it for um it's going to be more so their vision than ours it's just going to be like you know a thing that we you know help maintain essentially um so yeah it just like it's like a it's a very beautiful reminder of like why we do all this and and, and all that and i'm just like you know as m more things and more projects we do i'm just hoping that people uh continue to see the value in it because i you know i know a thing that we often run up against is that like you know because we're here and it's us like you know there's always like that weird thing it's just like oh well, i know y'all you know like this is just like a little thing thing yeah. you know but then they'll like they'll go somewhere and they'll see another version of what we're doing and like oh snap it clicks now i understand everybody doesn't have the energy to create infrastructure mm -hmm. for things mm -hmm. right and what we're doing is we're creating infrastructure yep. for culture yep. for things to be able to happen here and for people who look like us because there is on that night in Troy night out and most nights there's nothing that looks like this mm -hmm. there's nothing that creates a space for people I mean you can just say it, black people you can say black creatives you, you can know say queer you can say you, yeah all of that all of that to be able to feel like oh like you know i can just you know what i mean and then like i, I can even paint like this <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. right in, instead of feeling like someone's over your back or, or feel like oh, you know don't, don't paint that red that red is oh no don't do that yeah exactly and um what my hope and what pushes me because i've seen things like you know with rooted right when when we uh founded rooted uh i saw things that came out of that right that may have uh you know been rooted in, in what we were doing there right i would love to for us to not be the only thing mm -hmm. in troy like this mm -hmm. you know for someone to feel inspired to be able to create the next cr collective effort and the next uh big creative sp space that's their own you know and i think that is what one of my privileges is is that i had entrepreneurs in my family and mentors who sh uh, were able to show me that things like this are possible that you can own your own business and you can collaborate collaborate with friends and family and make something and it not be you know there's no fallout over money or it's no fallout over oh you disrespected me i think there's a, a mutual level of respect for everybody's superpower um and i'm happy to say that you guys are one of my superpowers i think we established that yesterday in our conversation around um marketing 101 um i don't know if y'all missed it but it should have been there um, we're gonna have to bring it back bring people it are back. asking yeah. yeah you got it's a very dense course because i think you, know, you can go about five weeks deep mm -hmm. 
into just the marketing side of how to brand, how to um, assess um, competition. Is it competition or is it a strategic partnership? Um, and all of those things, I think, um, help me understand how to assist um, the community and how to be better um, support. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that's that's also important is knowing where you fit in and getting staying in line. You know what I'm saying? And so I appreciate you brothers for taking this time. I know you guys are super, super busy. You got to run. You got emails to send out. We got to go. Me and Fon's about to go stream another event for another client. Um, but we wanted to make some time because um, we do find this week and, and annually should be something that can can help push and, 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 and pull and, and really kind of um, bridge the gap in a lot of different ways. So um, do something we special pod. Um, I don't know if you had any other additional things to say. Mm-hmm. It's about invigorating. It's yeah. about emboldening. It's about inspiring. It's about collaboration. Everything that we need to get done to do something. Yep. Boom. Yep. Halloween party, 1028. Mm. Mm. Refuge, oh. downtown Troy. Don Fonz is doing uh, a music collab session. What we call that? What we calling that? Yeah, just like this jam, Thursday. It's a jam, jam session. session. A little jam session. Jam session on the tomorrow. Kick back. It's tomorrow. Yep. If, at, when this airs, it's going to be the very next day. So. Yep. I like that. Go check us out. Yep. Do something.